Samaritan who witnessed this bizarre bridge attack is speaking out tonight. He tried to save a man who was passed out on the Howard Franklin Bridge Tuesday morning. He says he would do it all again, even after a former federal prosecutor got out of his car and attacked the man before turning a knife on him. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank reports. Good Samaritan Ahmed Jahaf showed us this video of former federal prosecutor Patrick Scruggs about to be placed in handcuffs. Troopers say he stabbed a man that he'd just crashed into. I didn't have any reason to do that. To no. stop him. No reason to do that. He hit you, car. Let's you go. You be safe. It all started around 9.20 Tuesday morning when Jahaf saw a car stopped on the Howard Franklin Bridge. He stopped in front of it and got out to help. And I see him asleep in the car. You know, think he have health problem. I don't know what he have. After banging on the window, Ahmed went back to his car to get something to break it. FHP says the passed out driver suddenly woke up and drove forward into Ahmed's car. As he tried to maneuver again, he crashed into a third car, driven by Patrick Scruggs, a former assistant U.S. attorney. This picture shows the three cars jammed together. FHP says Scruggs then got out and used a pocket knife to break the formerly passed out driver's window. Then FHP says he repeatedly stabbed that driver. Ahmed tried to intervene again. He came into me very close with the knife. He think I'm with him. I don't know. He said, you with him together? You know, like that. And it, like one foot is a knife from my chest. I run. A passing St. Pete deputy was able to place Scruggs under arrest. The stabbing victim was left with serious injuries but is expected to survive. And Ahmed says he would not hesitate to again try to save someone in need of help, even though he had no idea how violent this was about to get. Yeah, when you see something, stop. Today is, is somebody else, tomorrow is going to be your son, your daughter, your wife, your neighbor, your cousin. Stop. Stop till one of the police show up. The police is not going to be everywhere for us. FHP is encouraging people to call 911 as opposed to stopping on the highway, even if it's to help someone. Scruggs was charged with aggravated battery with a deadly weapon and has not yet responded to our request for comment. Evan Axelbank, Fox 13 News.